Gentlemen, welcome back to Solaris, my Solaris playthrough at least. I'm Zedtech and welcome back to episode 20. 20 episodes of this Solaris playthrough. Jesus, it's been a long one. Uh, it's still going. Uh, it's not, there's no sign of it stopping. Uh, I've been having such a fun time. Have you been having a fun time with me? But we're still in the war with the combined Tensioned Realms. We're still in an alliance with the Fetessian Realms. We're still an associate of the United Nations of Earth and the Steel Darby League. The Stellar Dari League has finished their war with the Imperial Refi Nations. So that's always good up there. And we're looking looking fantabulous right now. Now at the moment we're researching, let's turn the UI back on. We're researching play, uh, more improved deflectors for our ships. We're, uh, we're researching the space for amoeba and border range. So border range is really, really helpful to us at the moment. We want to take some plants off these guys and just grab some loads of plants around here to stop the blue ones from engaging. And taking our uh, taking our what we what we want to claim in the future, and we are building battleships. Well, we're researching battleships and space what level six. So, yeah, hopefully we can get that in this episode. Well, hope well maybe not, but hopefully we can. Oh, god, that's fast. I turn up to fast speed just because I want to get it, and we got this. The space amoebas. The name has stuck as the pronunciation of the proper xenotaxonomic. Denominator, Jesus Christ, you guys are smart. It's too unwieldy for the average octopi, our solitary animals, when left to their own devices. All but the youngest specimens are accompanied by quasi-independent flagellella, organisms spawned by the amoeba and programmed through liquid RNA-laced secretions to do the bidding of the host. These flagella are capable of manipulating even attacking objects in an impressive yet restricted range around the host and periodically returning to lodge inside the host's amoeba body for reprogramming. Reprogramming. Jesus. There are potentially midget, 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 midget airy. Wow. Midget airy. There are potentially, there are potential military applications of the graceful patterns of circulation apparent in the flagellar's movement. So we get energy traits plus 5%. Uh, it just gives 5% to all energy traits. I hope. I hope. Oh my god, it does. Look at that. Plus 11 immediately. If we want from 0 to plus 11. That is great. We do need to mobilise the fleet though. Because we need to engage these guys. So let's go. Mobilise the fleet. Engage those guys. I'm on minus 2 energy credits now. But that is completely fine. Uh, we've managed to stop the excavator before it broke down. It's a remarkable piece of machinery with a smooth surface covered in diamonds. At first glance, the whole drill seems like one solid piece, but it's simply so well put together that you can't notice the grooves and joints. Our engineers will be able to reverse engineer some of this technology. Sounds German. Tech Forest Day in deep core mining. Must plus 20%. That's really good. It's really good for the future. Actually, we might actually be able to research that. I keep saying actually too much. I need to stop saying actually. God. What's our construction ship doing? You are over here. Uh, do you research that mining drill? You did. Okay, let's send you back to Homeworld. So back to Gore. And what's this guy? You just leveled up, Governor. Construction has been completed on the world. That's probably this world. Always oh, increased miners. Is it level you up to level whatever? Oh, what's under attack? What's under attack? Pause that. Pause that. Something's under attack. Uh, 200 experience, Life Erickson. We don't need experience. So we're on, we're on five star. What's under attack? Uh, let's look for this. What's under attack? Is it station under attack? Is it this here? I mean, it's got to be, isn't it? Yeah. There, yeah, they're fighting my research station, those bastards. Um, whoa, we're on minus 4%. What's happened? Oh, there's been fights. I have not even noticed the fights that's been going on. So they've started winning against us. The fights. Oh, God. What's happened to the fleet? The fleet's fine. Oh no, they've lost a bit. They've lost a bit of fleet. They're on 3k, 3.2k uh, fleet size back up. So if we just hold the line forever, they'll, they'll, um, the people will try probably revolt and want to end the war. So we'll, we'll be able to sign a white peace after a long, long time of nothing happening. But at the moment, they're winning slightly. Uh, they haven't seen the might of my fleet though. My 5.6k fleet. What's my new ship? I've got a new ship. Well, new, I've got uh, new ships over here. Oh, okay, so this is the shipyard. Oh, they haven't spawned yet. 
which is going to drive us over the edge, I think. Yep, 111 or 108. These are the new ships, the pirate ships that have been uh, out of the shipyard. We'll send you to your... Probably be scrapped or something. Uh, Life Harrison is still sitting here. Where's another surveyable area? Well, this one in Bristol. I'll send you to do that. There you go. Uh, we've got construction ship. He's sitting tightly there. I think I'm just going to send you back home so there's nothing you actually can do anymore. So I'll just send you back. Hostile fleet's engaged. We might lose a couple fleets here. Let's do lot watch this battle, the first fleet. No idea how to lock, lock on, but we can just slow it down a bit for your entertainment. Back onto normal speed now. So, oh, it looks like we've got the cruisers up front. Oh, 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 I think there's point. Oh my god, look at that. Oh, deflectors, saving game. I feel like, I feel like Halo. I bet there's a Halo mod for this. Tell me in the comment section below if you, want me, if you want me to play this again with mods in the future. That was uh, that was that fight. Let's send you back home. We, had, we didn't lose anyone, which is pretty insane. Uh, I've just realised something. Have I, have I, did I ever upgrade my ships to plasteel armour? I don't think I ever did, did I? No, I didn't. Oh my god. Let's do plasteel. Or complete. Save that Corvette. Plasteel armor. Corvette has plasteel armor now. Let's get the uh, plastic. Oh my god, these still have tier 1 level armor. They only have ceramic metal. That's why the destroyers suck so bad. Destroyers, back up. Core cruiser. Let's give you some plasteel armor. There you go. Save. And what else is there? Anything else that needs plasteel armor? Defense station. Yep, let's give that some plastic armor. Lovely, jubbly, jubbly, jubbly. Okay, it looks good. Now, what's this here? There's a research project going on here. Where's the Balau? The Balau is probably at home, isn't he? Where is the Balau? Oh, he's there. What's he doing there? Absolutely nothing. Okay, come here. Do the tree. I'll do actually this first and then do the tree. And then research the tree. It's not like a doesn't run out. No, it doesn't run out. Okay, that's fine. We'll send the the fleet back to base. We've got the ships here. We might just uh, get rid of this fleet. Uh, what what's their comet power on their own? So one ship has a comet power of 54, and one of our uh, corvettes has a combat power of 48. Ah, uh, do we get rid of? We might get rid of three corvettes from our fleet, and we'll add these new ships into our fleet. So back up to fastest speed. Got a time project going on. Uh, hmm, 109 naval capacity. Oh, someone died. The director died. Oh, we need to elect a new director. Let's do this new one of our science. We know how our one of our science ships. So the Balau and Life Edison, five star. They're probably like, how old are these people? They're probably really old, aren't they? How, I can't tell how old they are. I wish I could tell how old these people were. Research speed is really good. Oh, I might go for research speed. Uh, yeah, probably go for research speed. Let's go for that. Got research speed. Oh, it's this guy. Damn. Uh, let's go for... No, 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 no. They're all pretty bad. Fail risk. Normally research speed is probably not the best in the world. Let's try that. Let's recruit another one. Uh, uh, might as well do military theory. I mean, there's nothing much else. There's the third level. There's a 36 year old person. Let's recruit the youngest. They might not be have the best skills, but I mean, you know, just needs the start. I don't, I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. But anyway, construction being completed on Feridon Prime. Oh, what's this? Ah, what was thought to be a cluster of minerals are the metal hulls of two alien corvettes stealthily drifting through the asteroid belt. Science officer Holly Franklin established contact and the two ships are crewed by alleged former pirates now cast out from their robber clan. They have heard whispers that director Marie Martina Romero of the Odds by Star Syndicate is a champion of the people and seek asylum. 
Right, we can just die in an asylum or we can... Uh, if, they want, if they want asylum, sure, they can have asylum. We got exiled pirates. Then they have the Reaver class. What Reaver class? That's a military power 41. Can't we just get them asylum and then just strap them <laughs> for minerals? We can just, can't we just do that? Yes, we can. Okay. We're also going to take three of our Corvettes from these. Let's take Corvette Hyphen, something I can't pronounce. Take that away. So a Grey Wolf. Oh, actually, I like Grey Wolf. Uh, a Kazakov. Someone who's Russian, tell me what that means. Shinokala. Some another Japanese person. Down to 108 ships. Uh, let's go merge these two fleets together. I think they are actually in the same province or area. So then let's just not take point. Where's the merge button? I can never find this. There we go. Merge those two ships together. There we go. 5.6k combat power. Or oh, someone else has just died. Holly Franklin died. Oh, that's a five star. That's the five star. Oh, damn. That's really bad. Oh, God damn it. Okay, we have to recruit a new one. Uh, anomaly fail. This is really good. So this is really good. Um, let's go for how oh, old? So for youngest again. Not they don't do the best, but just for youngest. And we're gonna level them up by researching our um, at the home world. So we're gonna just send them here and assist research. So now we're gonna go back home, assist researching. Uh, and then oh what the fuck? We've got the nine thousand five hundred k fleet is still back here. Comet power fleet. It's still shooting. Troy to deer, Troy to deer, whatever. Oh, damn it! I'm on 5.6k fleet. Oh, hold on! I didn't need to upgrade the fleet. I think. Upgrade the fleet. Let's do that. Let's see what they upgrade to. I hope something good because we really need something good right now. Now, has anyone been born here? No one's been born here. Uh. Oh my God! What the fuck is going on? Oh, this is that. Yeah, this is what I was talking about. So we can let the tree drift along. We can give it to our leaders, we give leader lifespan plus 20 years, or we can give it to the people, which gives a happiness buff of plus 5%. So I did give it to the people. As always, in the comment section below, tell me what you would have picked. I really want to know. I thought just like the last video, last episode, I might do that a couple times in the, in the uh, in new videos. If you have a dead decision, I want to know your, de your decision in the comment section below. So give us your decision on what you would pick for some of the decisions that I make. Like this research now. Oh, uh, well actually, Power Plant 4 is really good. Graphing Power Plant. Mm hmm. Sounds pretty good. Power Hub is plus 6, but plus 20% energy, energy credits. This gives shields. That's really good. Uh, this is a resource that I have no idea what it does. This shield hit points, which is actually pretty good. Uh, barrier point defense, just a better point defense. Uh, energy storage capacity. Uh, not that I'm not really on the max energy storage. Never, I've never hit the max. So I think we're gonna go for either for power plants or shields. Now what does more? Uh, so this takes 79 months and this takes 33 months. We don't know for the shields. We have more shield capacity on all our ships. Let's have a look at Uno Prime. Uno Prime's looking fine. Someone leveled up. Level four. Let's see. Science ship Balao is just sitting there doing absolutely nothing. So we want you to do something really quickly because you might die. Uh, let's don't research that. Balao. And let's see what our research is on. 32 months left to the border range. 98 months remain for the engineering. Uh, we were losing energy credits. Okay. 5.7k fleet power. We can build two more ships. So what have we got? What's our composition right now? 21 Corvettes. 22 destroyers. We want to build some Corvettes. I think... Uh, hmm... If we build some cruisers, that'd be better. Let's build. No, let's just leave it. Uh, actually, no. One, one Corvette. One Corvette. I'll do. Uh, one Corvette. Do one Corvette. Being built. It'd be 109. We have one space for a battleship as soon as we get it. Oh, what's this? We have made an interesting find on Mestros 2, however it is not related to the planet itself. While conducting our usual test, we've captured some odd data from a far off system star. Its radiation indicates that it is able to fuse together beryllium without spoliation, something that should not be possible. The science team are eager to investigate and have limited the potential stars down to two not too distant systems. Consult the situation for details. 
Prove fruitful. We don't have time for this. Let's do to prove fruitful. Let's pause the game. Let's do the situation log. Let's have a look at these two unusual stars. Track that on the map and track this on the map. So let's go see where these stars. So we're in Jala, the Charad, we can't get to because there's no wormhole. But Arkrom, let's go to Arkrom, Balau. We can try out this. Uh, I guarantee you it won't be here yeah, because that'll be too easy. Well, is this the star? Do we not? Do we not need to do what? <laughs> what? Yeah, I think so. Oh wait, maybe we have. It is the white system. What the hell? This isn't a real video game. Because the easiest option is apparently the best. We seem to have found the white system. The radiation data of the local star match the ones previously encountered. A special project has been issued to perform the research of the star. It's situation log updated. Ooh, there we are. What's this? Is this? Oh, this is another science ship. Unless it's a science lab. Okay. Let's do research project here. Let's leave you to your devices there. How long to border range? 24 months to border range. I'm excited for the border range increase. I'm really excited. I'm hoping it comes soon enough. Uh, science ship is almost done, actually. We're on fastest speed, so hopefully sometime soon. Oh, a new alien race. All these guys are spiritualists, militarists, and individualists. Our warriors salute you. Uh, where are they? I don't know. They're in there somewhere. They're in the midst of alien worlds. We're on max... Uh, we're on Max Minerals again. Wow, that's pretty good. Wow. Eureka! Science officer Bod Dan Romanoff has found that the star is formed around a minuscule wormhole which has ripped open a dimensional rift. Rays from this other dimension has replaced the need of cosmic rays in a spallation. The process of supernovae radiation reduced the beryllium-8-8 created in stars into a stable element. The star is thus unique in its fusion capabilities. Thanks to stability, our scientists will be able to research new technology. Cold fusion power plus 35%. That's really good. It's really good because we really want that for our ships. I think but out. We're going to set you go to do this one. There you go. Off you, off you go. Do another one. Oh my god, look at this. All that research there. When our border range increases, someone shut their borders to us. Uh, oh, they just met, they just met us. The boar people. It's Pumba from the Lion King has just met us. Uh, several merchant ships passing in the vicinity of Pilhadir 2 have independently of each other reported anomalous readings coming from the direction of the planet. After studying these readings, experts on Dolph believe that they may be indicative of an ancient precursor activity. We should in investigate this. Pilhadir. Where's Pilhadir? Um, is that up here? No, where is Pilhadir? Where is... Is there a button where I can find where Pilhadir is? I can. Pil... Pil... Or is it P-I? No. Oh my god. Ah! Pill, 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 pill. Okay, I found pill for deer. It's here on the edge border between these two systems. Let's have a look here. Pill for deer. What's wrong with this system? What's this? Why is it not a magnet? Has an FTL inhibitor? Oh, right, okay, I see what you mean. Oh, that's the circle of the FTL inhibitor. Uh, what's, what's going on here? Anything? No. Okay, that's weird. We'll see, we'll see what's... We'll, we'll keep, a, keep a note of that place. Apparently it's being weird. Science ship. Balau is now doing some stuff. Life Harrison is level 2. Been promoted. What's this? There is clear evidence that a massive space battle took place in close orbit of Bariuta. 1B, at some point in the last 5,000 years, this surface on one side of the moon is pockmarked with craters from stray weapon blasts and scans from Balau have picked up several hulks on the ground. Though these wrecked ships are all in very poor condition, the fact that anything remains at all after the damage they must have sustained is a testament to their advanced design. Signs of the Bod Dan Roman is preparing an expedition to sift through these derelict hulls for any valuable technologies. Let's do that immediately. Before you die, because I know how old are you? How old are you? 74! Everyone so far has died 75, so let's hope not. Let's hope his birthday isn't very soon. No! <laughs> He's just died, hasn't he? Oh, 76. That was the one that's building battleships. Damn. We need battleships. We need them now. Uh, military theory. I want everyone who's young. We just want people who are young. I don't care what their skills are. We want you young. 
If you're young, you're good for the company. There, I've said it. It's out there. Why is two energy credits? What is going on? Let's go look. Let's take a big pause. Quick pause and have a look at what's going on in the world right now. So 9.5k army there. And we, you have some transport army. You have a military fleet of 3.6k. For about 3.7k over there. Surface world ocean on the uh, go off is fine. Surface on... Oh, they don't have society. Let's build the research. Uh, what's the... Feridon Prime is looking complete. Let's build a research station because you're about to... What was that? Why was it a bit weird? Build a... What's this? Requires one. Ah, okay. Stop one eventually. Okay. We'll build that. Or will we? We'll cancel that. We'll move you down there to the one energy credit. We'll build a power plant on you. So we're losing some power. And we'll get you up and running. Now, what else is going on? Now you need to build a... Uh, for physics research more on you. Let's start at Feridon Secundus. Looks like we're coming to the end of the video right now. Uh, there's an energy credits there. You want to build that. Let's build a, a uh, sort of power plant on you. Now, looking really good. Got two foods here. Let's put, I want more food though. So, here you go. Sacrifice the minerals for food. I want, I want society research so you can build there. Uh, what's left on this planet? Let's build a research station. More power plants here. Lovely. More mineral oh, power plant here as well. Let's actually swap you guys around. Power plant. Or oh, power hub. Uh, power plant I do. There's not enough other energy credits in this region. But yeah, it's looking good. Okay, fans of fortune, episode twenty. Wow, whole twenty episodes of my Solaris playthrough. I've miss I've been Oh, I said, oh, I said my last name there. I've been ZTech. I hope you've enjoyed the series so far. Keep smashing that like button. I really appreciate it. Keep, keep making me, uh, encourage me to make more of these videos. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.